Right, so this is the old Honeywell scanner that I am replacing with this new Datalogic one. And it should just be a really easy swap out. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you how, well, the reason why I've bought the new one, because the, the old one just performs so badly. So this is a 1D scanner. This is a 2D scanner. Right, so as I said, this is the Honeywell one. You can take it off and use the um, use the button on top there or put it in. The stand's pretty much shot at now, but this is what I want to show you. It, um, well, it did it really well there, actually. I'll just do it again. So it doesn't pick it up quickly. And what, what I'm finding is that myself and all my staff are just spending time putting stock through three, four, five times, whereas with the new scanner, what we should have is a lot better productivity. Right, so let's have a look what's in the box. So basically, that's the stand. We'll have a look at that. There's the scanner and the, uh, it's not cat cable. It's got a USB on it, but we'll have a look anyway. Right then, so this is the quick scan uh, QD2430 from Datalogic. And uh, let's get it installed. Right, so while my latte is being prepared, this is a, a nice easy swap out. So basically, just a case of following this cable back. And if we do that, it brings us round to this USB at the back there. So take that out and then just, just feed it back through here. Right, so that's how quick it was. My latte is already done. And, uh, and this is the this is the cable here. So as I say, it's just a straightforward USB connector. And on the new scanner, we've got the USB connector there. So we'll just get that set up and plugged in. Right. So uh, we've run the wire round. So it's here. It just needs plugging in. But it should just be able to be plugged in and then go. So let's uh, bang that in there. Just tidy all the cables up and then we'll uh, we'll get it working. Put the case back on. Get that done and then uh, see in operation. Right, so we've got it all plugged in. The only thing that I had to do was reboot the till and then it registered it and now we're away. And it's simply a case of just hold it in front and it picks it up just like that and we'll do it again use something different this time hold it in front and it picks it up and obviously you saw that before it was nothing like that whatsoever last one cigarettes are really hard and it picked it up and just to show you so if you can see there you've got two purple things when it when it picks it up you get a green dot showing on it and that's that absolutely fantastic big recommendation